Hello, this is Richard Cispedes, and uh, I'm here to talk about how you would add the area and the perimeter of a basic algebraic uh, mathematical square, you know, uh, with the value of the length and width in inches of two inches. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to utilize uh, indexes to represent the breakdown and the summation and the subtraction of of whichever uh, the perimeter which will be uh, being added and the difference which will be within the width of the area the we're gonna break down fractionally both the width and the length and by the width can be broken into one ninth of two inches and one fourth of two inches, the length's gonna be broken out one fourth of two inches, so it's two divided into nine nine pieces, and the length can be broken down in two divided by four pieces. So we're going to basically we're going to break a piece off and analyze them, and we're gonna sum up both those fractional values from this and this together. To find out the partial fractional value of our analyzing calculations of the square in terms of the fractional uh, uh, differences in both the length and width of the area and the perimeter from two. We're breaking down two into smaller portions and analyzing them from the total amount of the area and the perimeter of the square. So we're going to start off with the area first and then we're going to do the perimeter. Okay, now we have here is the symbol of area A, P, S. This is the area, the partial, the partial fractional value of the square of the total amount of the area of the square. And we're going to have uh, the length, the partial value of the length of the square. Multiplied into the difference of the partial value of the width of the square by 2. different so two so this right here is the partial fractional value of the square of the total amount of the area we're breaking down the total amount into fractional values this fractional amount of the length of the square partial amount of the length squares can be multiplied into the difference of the partial fractional value of the width of the square subtracted from 2 so what is that all we're gonna give the values and then the total outcome so the length is equal to 1 fourth of 2 or 2 broken down into 4 pieces and the width is 1 9 of 2 difference from the whole number two. This is the length, this is the width. The difference of the partial fractional value of the square of the width from the from number two. And that total amount difference, all finding the difference and multiplying them together is going to equal to negative 0.9 
negative 0 0.889. So that means that from all of that, from the area of the square, the area would have amounted without the fractions, with the whole numbers of 2 would have amounted to 4, but due to the fractional breakdowns of the length and width of the area and the difference and whatever and being multiplied, you get less, just a shy little gasp of air away from 1. So from number, so, so from this amount, we're going to look at the perimeter now. We're going to add this negative amount from the perimeter. Okay? Place this, go to this, and now we're going to look at the perimeter now. I got this all settled up. We got the perimeter is going to be broken down. We're going to utilize um, the, the length and the width of whichever length you want, left or right, top or bottom of the width, let one side, you know, like this or like this whatever you want this one and then you s and you kind of kind of isolate this one of the lengths or the widths or whatever you want but right now we're focusing on the length you isolate it and you break it down into a fraction into a partial fraction of the true amount which is two inches from two inches we're gonna break that down into four pieces and you have two times x length and width so this is going to be the the amount of the other side that has not been changed and this is the part that we focused on that will be changed be multiplied together of the length right here length and width not being changed this length is being changed being added to the change of the width that's on top being added to two so it will be multiplied and then summed up and this is the amount this is how it would look without the numeral amount. This one doesn't have a numeral amount because it x is 2. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And this numeral, this is the the uh, algebraic amount, uh, look to it. And this, the P, S, right in the bottom left corner, the perimeter, the partial square of the total amount of the perimeter is going to equal to this. Four point two two two. So it's a little bit sloppy, but it's four point two two two. And that is the total amount of the perimeter when you break down a specific length of the block. You selectively pick the left and the bottom or the right in the bottom and and you leave both the, the other two and you isolate the other two by different values from the remaining constant of the values of the other side which changes the geometry of the square two-dimensional square of in terms of perimeter calculations and manipulations it changes it and makes it more larger while these sides sh sort of shrink so it kind of implodes outward and this the kind of you know stays the same but sometimes a fractional value and sometimes a small amount but in this amount the perimeter with the fractions removed from the real amount of of the perimeter amount you get this much so we're going to add both the perimeter and the area together Okay, we're going to break it down. So the total amount of the total square is going to be, what is that, x, partial amount, s, length, multiplied into partial amount of x, width of square, take away 2 plus the 
three. It's gonna be two, not three. I keep on thinking about my other thing. So it's gonna be two. Okay. This is gonna be two. X with the length and the width times the perimeter length of whichever side you want, which is going to be left or right, the partial amount of the length of that one being added. the width plus 2 and all of this don't for just focus the, off of this this is going to be equal to all this this is the area and this is the perimeter fractional value of the perimeter itself being added 2 times x of the length and width of whatever side you want multiplied by the length of the fractional change of whatever size you want plus the the sum of the change of the fractional value with 2 and all of that is going to amount to okay this is a one This is the area, and this is the addition sign that I kind of messed up on, plus the perimeter of 2 to the power of 2 times 1 fourth one-fourth of two plus of the length length and width length and width one nine being added of two being added to two So what we have here is an area being added being added to the perimeter. This side right here has not been touched. This side of the length has been touched and this width has been touched. This side has not been touched so it's kind of like this while the other side is like growing and changing and being reduced and changing or whatever so all that amount of the area and the perimeter is going to equal to the sum of negative 0 0.889 plus 4 point two 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 and all of that is going to equal is three 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 and that is the total amount of finding the area, adding the area of a fractional value of the block with the perimeter of the fractional value of the block, partially selecting 
and breaking down the inch, finding the differences and putting them together, just like I told you about the jobs, you know, finding a certain time in the jobs of the other math problem of the polynomial. You, you, you selectively pick small amounts from a larger amount of an occurrence and you find out how much you made within that small amount of selectiveness. Scientists do it a lot in, sci in, in mathematics. In planets, they analyze the volumes of, of uh, planets and uh, the temperatures and, and, uh, and degrees and all these things and uh, s the speed of cars and how fast they went and particles and quantum physics and they do a lot. So this is the total amount of the math. Uh, the total amount is very small compared to, the, to what it would have been if it was x squared without fractions and 4 times x with a perimeter it would have been 12. It would amount to 12 because x equal to 2. But this is a very small amount, 3.3 to 3. So that's it. And uh, this is just something that would, I just wanted to put up on YouTube. Learn a lot.